I love tart flavors. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Tara, and whether you love to cook or you just love to watch videos about cooking, this is the channel for you. Today, in celebration of the beautiful summer weather, even though I'm wearing long sleeves, it's because I'm in the air conditioning and it's cold in here, we are gonna be making some very delicious, but healthy, lemon bars. This recipe comes together very quickly. You only need a bowl. If you're not a fan of lemon, you can sub in raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, or oranges instead. Um, you guys are gonna absolutely love these. They're so fast and easy to make. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love for you to be a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button below and be sure to hit the bell icon. That way you're notified each time I post a new video. Okay guys, let's hop right into the video. In a medium bowl, we're gonna add three cups of almond flour. I love using almond flour. It's high protein, paleo, and just so good for you along with one fourth of a teaspoon of the Himalayan pink salt. Now I'm spraying my baking pan down with avocado spray so it won't stick later. Now it's time to zest our lemons. So I'm using this microplane, it makes it super easy. And you just wanna get as much of the lemon zest off without getting the white bits into it because the white will be very, very bitter. The lemon zest provides a very, very strong flavor and it's a key component in this dish. I wouldn't really skip this step. Now I'm taking about half of the lemon zest of these four lemons and I'm gonna add this straight into the flour mixture. Now I'm gonna add one fourth of a cup of coconut oil. Coconut oil is gonna act as our like butter replacement and it works really, really well providing healthy fats and also fiber. I'm using refined coconut oil here so that we will not have any of the flavor of the coconut. Then I'm adding three tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk. You can use any type of plant-based milk that you like. And now I'm gonna take one half of a lemon and juice it straight inside the bowl. So we're gonna get some really strong lemon flavor just in the um, cookie part of this bar. Now I've washed my hands and I'm gonna just get right in there with my hands. The coconut oil is kind of like thick, like if you think of like butter chunks and how it provides like air into it, I just really want to um, get it really incorporated as much as possible. Now I'm taking the same fourth of a cup scoop and I'm reserving that mixture set aside for the topping. Now I'm gonna place this dough inside of my prepared baking dish and I'm just gonna use my hands and I'm just gonna flatten it in here. If you don't have a pan this shape, you can use any shape you like. I found using a spatula to be pretty helpful to try to get it uniform. We're trying to get it as, as, as even as possible. And then we're just gonna pre-bake this for about eight minutes in our preheated oven. To that empty bowl, I'm gonna juice the three and a half lemons straight inside of the bowl. And then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of monk fruit extract straight to this mixture, along with two teaspoons of tapioca flour. The tapioca flour is gonna help to thicken this once it starts to cook up. I'm now adding the rest of the zest of those four lemons straight into this mixture and stirring it up. I did decide that I wanted a little bit more lemon and I actually want lemon chunks. You could have zested this at the beginning, but I'm doing it now. So I, I zested a little bit of it and then I am just slicing this up because I want to actually cut the peel off of this and then separate the seeds out and then kind of chop this into chunks and put this inside of the mixture when I cook it down just to create a more lemony, type, flavor, and texture, kind of like a lemon curd minus the eggs. So I'm putting all of this inside of my little saucepan and I'm just bringing it to a boil. I switch to a whisk and you can see this is really starting to thicken up thanks to the tapioca flour that's in there. I did decide to add two more teaspoons of the monk fruit extract. These lemon bars are extremely tart. I love tart flavors. If you want yours to be sweeter, definitely add either more monk fruit extract. You can add cane sugar, turbinado sugar, coconut sugar. Adjust them according to your preference. 
Now I've made a tapioca slurry combining a teaspoon of tapioca flour and a teaspoon of filtered water in a little bowl and then I've added that to the mixture. Now we are ready to pour this on top of our delicious baked, pre-baked crust. Obviously it's not fully baked yet and I'm just kind of pouring it right on there and just spreading it over. Look at that, you know this is gonna be absolutely delicious. So now we're gonna add the reserved mixture for our topping that we set aside in the beginning and then we're gonna bake this for between 12 and 18 minutes and look at this. Oh my goodness, allow this to cool completely before slicing even if you have to place it in the fridge for a little while and I'm gonna just take a piece of this out to show you. Look at this texture. These bars were incredibly delicious, so refreshing. You guys are gonna absolutely love these bars. What did you think of today's video? Drop me a comment below and let me know a recipe that you'd love for me to share. If you liked today's video and you wanna see more like it, be sure to smash that like button and share this video with your friends, your family, your coworkers, or anyone else that you know that is interested in healthy but delicious recipes. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.